near-infrared imaging photoplethysmography during driving. Imagine a car that could automatically stop if a driver has a cardiac arrest while driving, or that could detect that the driver is too tired to continue driving safely. Changing blood concentration with each heartbeat causes small intensity variations on the skin. These intensity variations can be recorded with a camera and processed to obtain vital signs, for example heart rate, and the measurement of these intensity variations with a camera is called imaging photoplethysmography. Unfortunately, these blood flow-induced intensity variations on the skin are very small and are easily corrupted by noise. There are two unique large sources of noise during driving. First, there are drastic illumination changes on the driver's face, both during the day as sun filters in and out of buildings, etc., and at night from street lamps and oncoming car headlights. Second, the amount of motion during driving is significant. Most of the ambient light variations present during driving are caused by visible light sources and can be reduced in 940 nanometer wavelength range. We show that our proposed near-infrared setup is able to reduce most of the ambient light variations present during driving and improve the signal quality. Unfortunately, while near-infrared can reduce the majority of these ambient light variations, the signal-to-noise ratio of the blood flow signals we are interested in is very low in near-infrared, and physiological signals recovered from near-infrared videos are more prone to other sources of noise, for example motion artifacts. This makes it challenging to use near-infrared videos for imaging vital signs during driving because there is a lot of head motion during driving as well. To recover the physiological signals in presence of motion in the near-infrared, we model the light and motion noise sources. We use the horizontal and vertical position of the facial landmarks as a head motion prior, and the background regions as an illumination noise prior, independent of motion, assuming that similar light variations are likely present on the face and background regions. Then we can project the noisy signal onto the orthogonal complement of the noise subspace to denoise the signals. Furthermore, the physiological signals are quasi-periodic, so we can model the physiological signals as sparse in frequency, and we can enforce the recovered signals to only have a few non-zero frequency coefficients and to have the same support across facial regions, meaning that all facial regions should have signals with the same frequency content. We quantified the accuracy of heart rate prediction from videos as the percent of the time windows which have the error between estimated and ground truth heart rate lower than 6 beats per minute. We demonstrate that our proposed near-infrared approach outperforms the state-of-the-art methods in RGB during realistic driving, opening up possibilities of using cameras for improved driver monitoring. We are releasing the first driving video dataset with simultaneous ground truth vital signs recordings.